Yeah. The, the challenges of waste to waste to energy in, in South Africa is um, to get an um, incentive for coming from government, either either it's a uh, feed-in tariff or a gate fee, um, because uh, that is uh, what these kind of plants needs to be uh, to become economically feasible. Uh, the, the key benefits are, on, on the one hand, uh, environmental protection. Um, it preserves um, the environment for uh, pollutants coming into the soil or in the groundwater. Um, and um, it's, um, it can provide a lot of jobs uh, in, in the waste, uh, waste treatment, uh, waste collection uh, space. And it preserves and it creates also power for, for, uh, for the grid. Um, in general, a waste to energy technology is a quite mature and robust technology, and uh, the, the trends are, are, are more general coming from the uh, the power industry. It's digitalization. Uh, it's to have. Uh, um, uh, analytics to have tools uh, on board to uh, to monitor the plants uh, to do predictive maintenance and to support the uh, the stuff in the plants and, and the operators in their daily business. Um, in, in my view, it's uh, it's of course biomass uh, and, and waste to energy on the long term run, and uh, we will definitely see uh, solar and, and solar and wind. Um, uh, the developments in the, in the PV space are, uh, are enormous and, uh, and Af Africa is a, is a country with a lot of sun and that needs to be, so, uh, to be used. Um, cu currently, uh, um, we look as an example to a biomass and PV uh, plant in, in, in Ghana for, uh, um, for a farmer and cacao producer there. Um, of course, we look for uh, biomass uh, to energy in Namibia as an example, where we did also a study a couple of years ago. That means uh, um, we, we look definitely in, uh, in, in that space uh, for projects in Africa.